The use of a tariff energy is inevitable as fossil fuels are finite. That was a quote by Goddard Bogart, which is clearly stated the fact fossil fuel usage are finite and we must raise our awareness. Greetings, I'm Regidius and my fellow friends. Let me introduce myself. My name is Alia Sasabila and I'm from BPI1 Senior High School, Bandung. Coal, petroleum, and natural gas are examples of fossil fuels that come from living things that died and were buried millions of years ago. Fossil fuels are limited in number and will eventually run out. Reporting from the Encyclopedia Britannica 2015, at the beginning of the 21st century, about 80% of the world's energy was produced from fossil fuels. Because if it run out, scientists are starting to look for other energy sources to develop before fossil fuels run out. Alternative energy, or commonly called renewable energy, is a substitute for fossil fuels that have been used so far. For example, using resources such as wine, water, sun, and the heat from the ground. One example of renewable energy in Indonesia is geothermal. Geothermal energy or geothermal is a renewable energy source in the form of thermal energy that is generated and stored in the earth. Geothermal energy is believed to be quite economical, abundant, sustainable, and environmentally friendly. One of the uses of geothermal energy is to produce electrical energy. However, its utilization is still constrained by exploitation technology which can only reach around tectonic plates. Geothermal power plant or PLTP owned by Indonesia include in North Sumatra, in West Java, in Central Java, and in North Sulawesi. Taking everything into account, humans, as inhabitants of the Earth, must jointly think about the future of the Earth for the sake of their future generations' reaction on climate change. The use of renewable energy has begun to be encouraged throughout the world, including Indonesia. One example is utilization of energy that comes from sunlight to solar panels. This eco-friendly style such as for solar expenses. In this way, the community is expected to play an active role in saving the earth and making the earth green again, brown to green. Like any human activity, all energy sources have an impact on our environment. Renewable energy is no exception to the rule, and each source has its own trade-offs. However, the advantages of the devastating impact of fossil fuels are undeniable. From reduction of water and land use, less air and water pollution, less wildlife and habitat loss, and to no or low greenhouse gas emissions. From what I can explain, I can conclude that renewable energy can save the world. That's all for me. I sincerely appreciate it that I have had this opportunity to present to you. Thank you for attention. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.